most of the indians have heard of this word kuladevta the supreme god of our village which you always pray to today we will understand little more about kuladevta as sadguru shares his views and enlightens us about the same this aspect of the deity able to recognize you has been done in many ways this is done in a a very refined sophisticated way so that it recognizes anybody based on how their energy situations are where the status of life is right now what level of evolution how it is in that sense but there are other deities which is very common in southern india which is probably uh, these days lost in north is we have kula devatas or kula daivams that means a particular deity created for a particular kula kula means a smaller segment of a caste so here the genetic map of this kula is kept and the deity is consecrated to serve only that type of genetics this is why this fight in the villages any inter uh, kula marriage or inter caste marriage means why they're struggling is then you won't have a god of your own you will become outcast well that's taken on a social dimension and are ugly forms that's a different matter but essentially it is coming from this fundamental understanding because you have created an energy form which takes care of this particular genetic uh, information if somebody who doesn't belong to that comes it won't respond so these things were done in a very scientific way for different purposes there are many uh, fantastic processes even today but mostly lost so it is better to create universal things which are not based on genetics but based on the evolution of one's energy that is what we are doing that is why these new temples which will not recognize you by genetics it will not like recognize you by your parentage but will recognize you for what you are right now so both these things were done right from ancient times but most of the temples were done for genetic material because that is what people would fund they want a specific temple in their town for their clan so that their well being they created those things a few were created for everybody's well being so they were always named differently to to make you understand a little bit here uh, let us say there is one mariamman temple it will have a prefix name of a particular kula and then that but let's say some other temple like let's say kashi vishwanath it's vishwanath that means he is for the entire world he is not recognizing you by your genetics he is recognizing you by who you are right now in terms of your energy in terms of your evolution where you are right now in that context jana linga will not recognize your genetics he doesn't care whether you came from your mother's womb or dropped from heaven we don't care because we don't think coming out of your mother's womb and dropping from heaven one is superior to the other it doesn't matter how you came how are you right now that's all that matters